So following the Alliance uh, modified fall furanox study with stereotactic radiation, I think the big question is what is the future of radiation in general for this disease? And, and I think one, one thing again, that's evolving is that we're recognizing that with higher doses of radiation, we are seeing more durable control um, in those cases that don't get to surgery. And we are also seeing uh, more robust pathologic responses in those patients that do make it to surgery. However, there's limited prospective data, and I think future studies need to look at this more. One of those studies, for example, is the Greco-2 study that is currently open at multiple studies internationally, looking at upfront chemotherapy, followed by um, stereotactic body radiation therapy with um, a superoxide dismutase inhibitor. So I think studies like this will give us more information. There's also several studies looking at combining radiation with immune therapy and even vaccine therapy. There's several single institution studies that are looking at this, and there's some exciting um, findings that are emerging that suggest that radiation can indeed enhance the local tumor microenvironment um, to, uh, to you know, allow um, checkpoint inhibitors to have even more of a robust response both locally and may even enhance systemic, um, um, upper, you know, systemic uh, um, immune responses um, in, in cases, for example, of oligometastatic disease. So I think there's some excitement in how we can best integrate these therapies moving forward. And then finally, I think patient selection is really paramount here. Um, you know, again, taking into account the full patient perspective, as I mentioned earlier, the performance status, we now have the ability to incorporate circulating tumor DNA. And while it's still kind of in its infancy in this disease, that, that ideally will help us identify um, which patients, you know, for example, if there's a high circulating tumor DNA, um, perhaps they're not going to be ideal for radiation and or surgery for that matter. So making decisions related to kind of a systemic paradigm versus more of a local paradigm in how we manage these patients moving forward and how we develop trials. Um, there is a there is also an ongoing um, pancreatic cancer task force that is um, uh, representative of, of all disciplines across several cooperative groups. And in this working group, we are doing a robust clinical um, uh, review of, of the existing clinical literature and a PCOTS analysis, um, and also working collectively across disciplines to develop, um, ideally moving towards a clinical trial planning meeting, which will allow us to define what the next trial should look like with radiation therapy so that we are really developing the proper study to answer important questions related to the role of radiation.